Hey guys, what's going on? It's Dave. Welcome back. I want to thank everybody who's shown their love and support for the channel. Appreciate it, guys. And if you can share out the video, really does help out. Thanks. Public code of conduct in your municipality. Look it up where you are and see if there is one for the public. Not for the workers, for the public. And you might be shocked what's contained in it. Because I, in my opinion, it violates freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and a whole bunch of other stuff. They tried to pass it in my municipality, and it was kiboshed. They tried to reintroduce it tonight, and I felt there was a person that was that works for my municipality that was saying too much and could have possibly influenced the vote because the vote started. One person cast a vote, and then they started speaking again, and I, I think that's absolutely wrong. I think that once the vote starts, that person should be quiet and let the vote happen. If a councillor doesn't know what they're voting for, they shouldn't vote. Plain and simple. Anyway, it was carried through. It's going to move. Now, this was committee, the whole meeting. It's going to move to a council meeting. But at the end of the meeting, I piped up and I said I thought that that person shouldn't have been speaking. Now, the mayor got angry with me. <laughs> she tried to stop the recording of the meeting so it wouldn't be official. And I directed the person, don't stop recording. Because I want this out in the public. I want a public record of this. A public record of my opposition. And you know what? I, if I feel there's my government is doing something wrong, it's my job to stand up and say, no, I don't agree with this. I don't agree with the way you're conducting yourself or whatever. It's my job as a Canadian. So I was ejected from the meeting. The mayor said, she wanted me out. Didn't say another word. Got up and left. Am I happy that she ejected me? No. Do I believe the vote was influenced? Yes. And it, it may have been at no fault of that person. That may not have been their intention, but I believe it happened. I believe it happened. So did other people that I talked to afterwards. They believed it happened also. Were questions that were given to counsel answered? No. But this is the fight that we have to fight right from the municipality up. Now, now I'm, I'm asking you to go online and look at your municipal government and see if they have a code of conduct for the public. Because if they do, take a read of it and you might be shocked what's in there. Not to say that they'll ever use it against you, but it's always there so they can. Guys, gotta get control of this government. They're getting too much power. You guys take care. Please be safe.